Hello students, today we will learn a concept in straight line class level. The general form of a straight line and how can we reduce the general form into various forms. We will see now. So in earlier classes, you have already studied a linear equation in two variables. The standard form of a linear equation in two variables, you know that ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So the graph of such a, an equation is a straight line. So any equation of the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0, where a and b are not 0 simultaneously is called the general form of a straight line. Now we will see how can we reduce this general form into various forms that is slope, intercept form, intercept form and normal form. First we will see how can we reduce this into slope, intercept form. You all know the general form in the slope, intercept form is y is equal to mx plus c. Now we are going to reduce the general form into this. So we will consider the general equation of a straight line ax plus by plus c equal to 0. We will take only the y term alone in the left side the others, other two terms we will transpose to the right side. Now y is equal to minus a by b x minus c by b. Now you combine this equation with the slope intercept form. We will get slope and y intercept. If you compare the coefficient of x in both, we will get slope m is equal to minus a by b and the constant term c is nothing but y intercept. So y intercept c is equal to minus c by b. So if the general form is given, we can find slope and y intercept using this formula. The formula for slope is minus a by b and the formula for y intercept is minus c by b. Now we will see to the next one. Next one is intercept form. How can we reduce the general form into intercept form? We will see. So we will consider the same general form here. Ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Now you know that the standard form of an intercept form is x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. So we are going to reduce the general equation into this form. So we will do ax plus by, we will take the constant term to the right side, then divide this equation throughout by minus c. So we will be getting minus a by c x minus b by c y is equal to 1. Now we will change this into this form. So we will take only the coefficient of x as x, this we can write as x by minus c by a plus y by minus c by b is equal to 1. Now you can compare these two equations, equation 1 and equation 2, you can compare so that you can find x intercept and y intercept. If you compare, we will get x intercept a is equal to minus c by a. So when you compare equation 1 and 2, you will get a is equal to minus c by a. This is nothing but the x intercept and b is equal to minus c by b. This is nothing but the y intercept. So from the general equation, these are the formula for finding x intercept and y intercept. X intercept is minus C by A and Y intercept is minus C by B. Thank you children.